Hi, my name is Rob Jensen. I'm the owner of On Guard College Prep Services, and today we're back with another episode of AGP Refined. Um, long from a summer break, and we're here to discuss one of our organizations that we have um, underneath the uh, Avant Garde umbrella, BCSES, Young Entrepreneur Society. And today I have two of our lovely students, uh, executives for our board for BCSES, and they're going to talk to us and tell us a little bit about this wonderful organization that is for all you that are out there in high school. So, Kaylin, you want to kind of just start with a real brief introduction of yourself? Okay. Hi, I'm Kaylin, and I am the president of BCS Yes Entrepreneurship Club, and I'm a senior in high school, and this is my second year at this club. I was vice president last year, and now currently president, and I'm involved in volunteer work at Symphony Bells. I work at two different jobs. I coach soccer girls, and I also work at a retail associate job, and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm involved in, so. Um, I'm Jane Patel. Uh... I work at Blue Baker. I am just my second year at BCSES. I'm the vice president. Um, I do golf in my spare time as well as at school. Um, I'm also involved in Go Baby Go, another organization here. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, thanks guys. Um, so BCSES is, is a fairly new organization. You know, last year was our, our first kind of inaugural year that we had with it. Um, I think we had about 10 to 12 members and, and you know, had a lot of success. Um, can you kind of just tell us a little bit about uh, what sort of brought you or inter you know, what was sort of the interesting idea of joining such an organization like this? And okay, well, I do. I used to do SAT prep here and I currently work with Rob a lot. And then after that, he brought up this club because he wanted to start it and I was interested. And I actually recently wasn't going to be vice president, but kind of getting involved in a few meetings over the summer one of the vice presidents left and i took the role over the vice president and i really like business and entrepreneurship so i thought hey i need to be involved in clubs because my junior high school and everything so i thought this would be a great way to get leadership skills be involved in something that's outside of school and everything and i really enjoyed it and i was glad i joined yeah so i wanted to become a medical practitioner and I figured business was a good way to start that and so Rob kind of mentioned this club to me and I was interested in it uh, I came by and it was really easy to talk to everybody the whole um, the practices that we did it was really easy it was it flowed really well and I enjoyed it well kind of tell us a little bit about um, as you recall from some of the things and the activities that were done last year what were some of the more favorite ones that y'all had you know participated through the exercise through the meetings that we had? I personally really enjoyed the guest speakers. We had about two come in our first year and everything and it was my first time really listening to someone who's like in the business other than like my parents who do business and I thought it'd be a great way to learn things I didn't know that I thought I may have knew and I got to learn a bunch of people out there like the difficulties and everything so that was really fun to interest and because I got to really listen to someone who was older been it for a while and everything and get to take things from them I also really liked we did these like shark tank activities where we'd watch a shark tank and then we like kind of learn the steps of through it and we'll talk about it and then we also did an actual like mini shark tank activity ourselves where we got in groups and we presented things and we had like judges and everything we got to do it so it was really fun because I got to like really think on the spot since I didn't know that's what we we're going to do and then I got to like speak in front of people and everything and then learn some good criticism from it and everything and I thought it was a really fun experience because you know it's very light and everything but you also get to work with people your age and all that so I really enjoyed that yeah I mean I really liked all the guest speakers too we recently had one who we learned a lot from he had started a business and then it kind of snowballed and he's creating more and more of these chains and it was really fun to just learn how he started that and what his journey was from the beginning to the where it is now and what he plans on to do in the future. Um, we also do a bunch of other activities. I mean, we entered the TAMU High School Ideas Challenge and me and Caitlin were actually part of that group that uh, submitted it. And we came up with an idea. We were able to construct a proposal for it and we submitted it and it was, it was really just a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, you kind of mentioned, um, both of you mentioned guest speakers and, and, and sort of um, and that, and I think that's like a really key element that this organization is going to have to provide is it, entrepreneurship. It's kind of a buzzword that's out there. You know, everyone kind of talks about it, but what, what, what is it really, what is it, what is it really, and what does it look like? And, and I think kind of for y'all, maybe you kind of elaborate, you know, based off the ones that you heard, uh, what kind of surprised you from, from their messages that they maybe talked about? 
Um, for me, actually, so we, the one that Jaden was talking about, our recent guest speaker, so he owns franchise of the Jersey Mikes here in Bryan Call Station. He owns about four of them, or I think he's about to open the fourth one. And he was the first one he, um, who does franchise and not actually just start his own business that we got to talk to and everything. And I really enjoyed it because I didn't understand the, really the difference between owning a franchise and then starting your own business and everything. There's a lot, dif um, <clears throat> a lot different steps to it and everything. And I really liked it because it surprised me that how when you start your own franchise, how quickly you need to start another one and grow your business. How you, even if you've never worked there before, how you have to learn all the things in the working that business and everything and all the steps to it, how you have to constantly keep going to each when you own, once you start growing and owning more and you have to like drive around to it, make sure everything's going and all that, make sure that your employees are actually doing their jobs and everything, treating the customers right and all that and everything, how to respect them, but also give them good criticism, how they need to do what they do and everything. That really surprised me because I just never really looked into franchises and how they worked. And I got to learn kind of the difference between you own doing your own business and everything, how that's a little different. Yeah, I mean, to kind of elaborate on that, there was, I kind of asked him how the difference was between starting your own business and starting a franchise, and he kind of told me that with a franchise, they, some of them give you a plan to start out with, and it's kind of just easier to learn that curve with the business, and it didn't, he didn't have to go through the hundreds of hours of like making those mistakes and going back and starting from the beginning, and he could just kind of follow the business plan that they had given for him, and it was a lot easier than maybe starting your own business. Um, Anything add on that? Um, no, but another thing is going on our first guest speaker, we had one of the owners of Aguiland Outfitters, and she was our first guest speaker to come talk to us. And one thing I actually learned from that, because she started this own business and everything, and I've been going to that store since I was really young and everything. <laughs> so I, I only knew like the newer building that she has and everything. That's how all I knew. But I never really saw how since she had to start from the bottom, she started at working at the mall and everything. Mm -hmm. And how she had like different areas where she had to print stuff and all that. And it was in different rooms in the mall and everything. And how it, like how far it took for her to grow from it and everything and how she went through so many things you just you never know you're taking so many risks you just never know if it's going to work out or not but the thing is being an entrepreneur you have to take those risks because if you don't then you're not going to get anywhere and she took those risks and now she has two buildings like that she owns now for Aguilar Outfitters and they're really cool yeah I think that was a really good way of kind of seeing um, the two different models you know I, I actually think they started she started from a van actually oh, yeah. yeah yeah so she actually <laughs> started printing items out and selling them from the back of a van and then it kind of grew into like a, a retail store or something but yeah yeah and i think that the the guest speaker we were just talking about with the jersey chain jersey mics he had he had many different business ideas that he never fully put his mm -hmm. his back or his foot into and they ended up, some of them ended up doing really well and it's because he never took that kind of risk. He never saw the profit that was gonna come from it. And I thought that was pretty interesting that he finally took that risk and it's going really well for him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is kind of challenging sometimes and it's almost like a leap of faith that mm -hmm. you kind of have to just kind of take. And, take that leap. Yeah. And, and But within that, I mean, I think it really sets up well if you enjoy like solving problems and really kind of tackling things on the go. I mean, you mentioned earlier with the the, uh, the Shark Tank thing and, and kind of like having to think on your feet, mm -hmm. right? And like, you know, not given much time to be, to respond, but you kind of have to act and be decisive. And sometimes you're just going on a leap of faith and what you're saying may not be com completely kind of, you know, well thought out or planned, but you know, you've got enough of the bone structure of what you're trying to say to make it actually happen in some way, so. Mm -hmm. um, so within that, uh, I know we're on a new year, right? And, and so we, we had, I think we could both and all kind of agree that the first year was, was well, and it, you know, for, for first year organization, and, and we're looking to kind of extend beyond that. What are some ideas that, um, that are kind of thinking for this year that uh, y'all both serve kind of different roles in organization, um, you know, that you're kind of wanting to maybe accomplish in a way with BCSES? Well, I was, I'm the vice president, so I kind of handle more of like the competitions and the activities that we do. So I was, I've been looking into like different types of challenges that we do, maybe like an investment challenge, which I'd be really excited about because recently I went to a university and they kind of taught me how to invest and what the steps were to be. So it'd be really fun to just teach the other kids in this organization, like what I learned and how to 
kind of build a investment kind of portfolio off of that for like a, a university. Um, I think it'd be really interesting. Yeah, to kind of add on to that, to be able to do that, I want to be able to get as many people who want to come and be involved so we can get in that and have a bunch of people and all of that. Also, I really like doing activities with each other and everything because it's light, it's fun, you get to talk, but also get to learn things. But it's more fun when you have more people because the first year we had a lot more people come to our meetings and everything. And when we did those activities, I enjoyed it so much because we all had the different groups and got to talk about it. You got to meet a lot more people and everything. And also with guest speakers, like the more people there, more asking questions, you get leads into more discussion and everything because the more people there, everyone has different thoughts when they're listening to this. They have so many different questions and then you get to learn things that you never thought you would want to ask, but then someone else asked it and you get a lot more information and all that so I really want to accomplish wanting people to come and enjoy it and all that and so I can come up with more fun ideas since I'm the president and I'm usually the one who comes up with our meeting plans and everything I want to be able to come up with a fun meeting plan that everyone wants to do and people want to come and everything I don't have to worry about not enough people here and all that and then I also want to be able to listen to everybody like hey maybe we throw in this idea for our next meeting and everything so we can try this out and then I can start doing more research on that and do that and everybody will want to do things that they want to do as well because I don't want to come up with everything myself I want to make sure everyone's doing things they want to do so yeah I agree because the first time I came here there was a lot of people and we did that we did kind of an activity with uh, creating a, a kind of small business in town and that whole group setting made it extremely easy for me to fit in with a new club that I just kind of joined and I didn't really know anybody there so what was that X? Which one was it? It was uh, it was the ice cream activity, I believe. Oh, yeah. okay. And we oh, yeah. had to decide how many people we were gonna employ, what we were gonna pay them. Oh yeah. Each of that taxes. It was kind of a, a an eye opening experience, yeah. right? Yes. It yeah. Really was. Yeah. Like if, if if you want to pay someone this much, and then all the taxes that accompany that. And I think we even so we worked that activity in reverse order. So. Mm -hmm. We had to figure out how much we were gonna have to make. Yeah, you did, yeah. So you, you first decided how much you wanted to pay them, and yeah. then you decided on how much, and then you had to uh, devise a plan that uh, would yield enough profit, a percentage of the of the gross earnings and the profits. You know, your, would then go back to paying your employees yeah. and stuff. So, I think um, even seeing like the <clears throat> amount of taxes that those employers pay, it's 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 pretty interesting to see. Yeah. 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 And another thing to add on is that I haven't mentioned this. We also used to do, we would watch these profit videos. We did on our own time and everything. Then we'd come into class. I remember we did this two summers ago. So it was the summer of my first year joining this club and everything. We'd watch these videos and then we'd come in in our meeting and we'd talk about it and everything. And I loved the videos. They were really fun to actually watch, but you learn a lot. But and even though I watched the whole thing, I thought I really comprehended everything I was watching, but then I'd come in and I'd discuss it with everybody and I realized there's so many little things that I missed and we discuss it and maybe something I didn't really quite understood, even maybe if I did. And then I would like ask about it or I tried to hear other people's thoughts about it and everything. And I learned a lot more rather than just watching the video in general. And I really liked that. And I was hoping to add that in some of our future meetings and everything, so. Yeah, I actually enjoy uh, uh, watching those videos and, and, and much of my own individual business knowledge and models and pricing models of such maybe came from some of that and um, and, and it's they're really great like case studies you know situations of folks who probably found themselves and um, not quite in the such a graded environment you know with their business you know and then how to sort of work themselves out of it with the help of other folks who have expertise and so um, yeah I think that you know having the conversations being able to kind of debate and discuss and kind of see those things play out in real life is like whoa this stuff really does happen right and, mm -hmm. and, and so how to possibly um, you know maybe try to avoid certain situations that may, may kind of so let's kind of talk about this um, I know you two kind of have a little bit of a different focus and that's great because I mean quite honestly like entrepreneurship really kind of just spans you know, across the disciplines, you know, and talking about different fields of major and, and, and what you maybe want to pursue. So um, maybe you can just kind of generally just, you know, in your own words, you know, who, who is this a good fit for, you know, for BCS? Yes. I think it's a good fit for anybody who thinks they might have an interest in business or even knows that they have a might have an interest in business because 
once you get here, it's pretty easy to tell like how fun this can be for you or how beneficial, like learning the stuff that we, t like, that we see here and teach here. And I think it doesn't really have to uh, be directed towards a certain demographic. It's more everybody can come see if this is a fit for them and then make their decision based off of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to add off of that, I feel like really, it really leans more towards people who like entrepreneurship, maybe want to learn about it because you don't have to really go into something that's involving business. But if you go into another field and like growing as you get older and everything, you might want to open up something that you really love and everything. And just knowing from when you were younger and you'll definitely learn a lot more growing up, like how to open up something or franchise something like that. Because entrepreneurship is so broad. It's like everyone just assumes like, oh, I don't like business. So I really don't need to learn about entrepreneurship or anything. But really, even if you don't want to go right into business when you graduate and go into college, I feel like this club will be really good for you and everything because it's so broad in different ways and it's really good information that I feel like everybody should learn. Even if you might not even want to open something up right now, you never know down the future everything can change because I've learned that some people who open up stuff or franchise things, they don't even do it until they're in their 30s and they mm -hmm. never thought they would do it. So. Yeah, I mean our last guest speaker is a perfect case and example where, mm -hmm. you know, he left a very, you know, yeah. well-paying yeah. position right but it wasn't the type of quality of life that he really wanted in, in a particular way and he wanted more control and and so he found himself i think how long was it 10 12 years or something it was about 10 years. yeah yeah it's about 10 years yeah yeah so that he you know kind of ended up you know leaving his a career that has nothing to do with running a business that makes sandwiches right yeah right. and such um so yeah, and I mean, we've got other students too. I mean, um, those who kind of maybe been in the STEM fields, you know, engineering, other uh, sort of the life sciences, and you know, maybe have some to deal with, um, you know, some sort of you know tech startups or whatnot. And so, um, but yeah, there's a lot of application uh, that kind of you can go across, you know, the various disciplines and majors that you may think you want to pursue. But if anything, I think you kind of a lot of skills, you know, learning how to kind of, as you mentioned, think on your feet and talk. Uh, so planning, organizing, kind of understanding the financials a little bit better about, you know, any sort of organizations involved, whether it's a business that you may happen to run your own or, you know, one that you're maybe employed with by later on or something like that. But uh, um, so I guess just kind of um, sort of leaving this, leaving this conversation, um, you know, maybe if you can kind of just, you know, uh, just maybe think back kind of what's one of your maybe more favorite moments of the organization, something that you kind of really taken away from it um, that you just want to discuss just kind of to cap off our conversation. For me, this is kind of going back to like right when I started this club and everything, like what made me really want to keep going and I knew I'd actually enjoy it. Uh, was my very first meeting actually we all got together and everything I didn't I only knew like one person there and everything and we had to come up with like a business concept idea mm -hmm. and we talked about it and yeah. everything and we reviewed it and we kind of voted <clears throat> and we put in sections on like it was like more entertainment or more like clothing brands and everything and all that and I remember I got to really talk about my idea that I came up with and like other people would be like oh my god I really love this idea and all that and I just got all this communication with me and everything and it really brought boosted my confidence a lot and everything and I really got to work on my communication skills kind of had to explain it and everything and it just really I've never done anything like that before so it just I really enjoy that moment I always remember that meeting and everything my parents always remember that meeting I always talk about <laughs> it with them and everything because I definitely went home and talked to them about it and it was just always like the bride of the life because it was like the start of the club and everything I was vice president and all that and I knew that after that meeting that I really enjoy this club and I still enjoy it to this day and it's my second year so awesome. thank you yeah I think for me it was starting that TAMU high school ideas challenge um, we were kind of brainstorming and everybody was coming up with their own ideas mm -hmm. and um, just creating that whole pro proposal with Kaylin and everybody just going and we actually went to like the place <coughs> to finish that whole like proposal and we mm -hmm. sat there and did it and it was just really interesting to see like the things that go into making a proposal for a business idea yeah and like the time and effort it takes and the thinking and the creative thinking that it takes because you can't just have this one simple idea you have to expand on that and make it like it opposed I mean uh, appeal to every person in the world you can't just have it towards one specific demographic if that makes sense yeah I agree. yeah I, that was a very fun process there and I, that's kind of one of the things that I really enjoy about um, 
you know, when I kind of insert myself into the club activities, um, is, you know, helping, helping you all young minds kind of really spur those ideas and kind of prompt y'all with questions and kind of really get those wheels turning in some ways. So, um, but yeah, um, I know we're going to have some information coming out very soon. We're traditionally on Tuesday nights, 7 PM here. Um, usually the, usually the first Tuesday of each month, but uh, we hope to post a new schedule very soon for this fall semester. Um, please uh, reach out, contact, visit our website, avantgardeprep.com. Also, uh, follow us on our social medias, uh, Instagram, TikTok, um, Avantgarde College Prep, and uh, Facebook as well. And, and, and so we are frequently pushing information out to there. But uh, thank you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Appreciate appreciate both of you. Well, well done. Good, great thank job. First us. time, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. it was. Awesome. Yes. So thank you. Best of luck. Catch you next time.